welcome 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 back to another apostolic family vlog so today i'm going to share with you just some of our day some of the things we get into and just try to capture some memories one of the things i like about vlogging the absolute most is being able to go back and watch these videos and share all these sweet memories and just be able to reflect and look back and appreciate all of the goodness that god has given us so I also know the kids really enjoy going back and watching themselves on the big TV afterwards and kind of getting to watch the different things that they do. And so, yeah, we're just going to share a little bit of our day with you today. We did painting, we did crafts, we did baking, we did cooking, we did laundry, we did a chili cook-off for our church. We did all kinds of things today. So come alongside me and let's just kind of live together and see what we get into today. Okay friends, this will not be the most aesthetically pleasing video that you see all day because I'm a bit of a messy Marvin. So comment below meal prep if you enjoy good old meal prepping. And yeah, I'm really not meal prepping here, but I'm actually just kind of salvaging the chili from the day before. So I'm gonna go ahead and freeze this up and it'll be a nice chili start for the next time we have chili. And next, we're gonna go to the grocery store. Did you put your chopstick on? Oh wait. You need the lid? Yes. Oh, thank you. You're welcome. Now, I have to put it up there. No, I don't want it up there. I want it in my door so I know where it is. All right, we going grocery shopping? Yeah. What do you want to get? A ball because Cash, Cash took my other one. Because Mommy let him have it, right? Yep. And I let him share it and I let him take it home too. Okay. Get you a new ball? Yeah, I'm in a blue. Yeah, we'll see what they have. All right, let's go. Gotta come this way. G, come this way. See the carts? Yeah. Do you know where the quarter goes? Good job. Push it in, push the quarter in all the way. Oh, push it harder. Oh, you did it. Okay, can you pull it out? All right, here. Can you put the bags down there for me? My word. Good job. Turn it around, girlfriend. Woo. Go around the... You could go the other side, silly. All right, keep going. Let's go. Keep going. Nope, it's not on my list. You need to scoot over a little bit, okay? <laughs> there you go. Those are so neat, aren't they? You like it? Yeah. Those are so cool. Ooh, that's neato, mosquito. All right, you ready? I know, I want to get out. I know you do. Let's go over here and get what we're getting real fast, okay? Hey, you, ma'am, sit down. Sit down, little. What's falling? The macaronis. <laughs> the macaronis. Where's the macaronis? Oh, that's the guacamoles. Is that the guacamole? Holy moly, it's guacamole. Yeah, hold, you, you're gonna go down because, oh no, it's guacamole. <laughs> <laughs> I had again. I'm gonna get again. Okay, ready? Yeah. One, two, three, go. Isn't that awesome? Yeah, thank you, Jesus. All right, bring your ball. Let's pay for it. Come on. Take it right over there. Right. 
Okay, dear friends, this is the part where I teach Genesis how God really cares about even the littlest desires of our heart. You see, my grandson had been over at the house and we had one blue ball, much smaller than this one actually, and he really, really liked it and he was getting ready to leave that day and he wanted to take the ball. So what do I do? Grandma lets him take the ball, of course. I never really thought about the fact that Genesis wanted to keep the ball and she wasn't there to protest. So yeah, this is the part where I'm teaching her about how we went to three different stores and I'm just kind of walking her through the process in her four-year-old little mind and telling her, you see, Jesus really knew that you wanted a ball. And furthermore, at the third and final store that we ended up stopping at that day, we found this ball and it wasn't blue, but it was bigger than her previous ball, which of course, you know, at four years old, bigger is always better. And then in addition, not only was it bigger, but it was covered in Disney princesses. And isn't it just like God to show us that not only does he hear our prayers, but that he gives good gifts to his children and that he delights in doing it. And then he puts the icing right on the top by giving her something that's pink and covered in one of her favorite things, which is princesses. So I used just these little life moments as a way to kind of teach her, teach her to rely on God in those times, right? The good and the bad times. So I kind of just wanted to insert this here for you to understand the significance of the ball situation. Okay, can anyone say World's Best Mom and Brother Award? <laughs> so this pair of shoes we got on Amazon, I'll link it below if you're interested in picking one up. It was actually a Christmas present for Abel a couple of years ago, and honestly, we have not pulled it out near enough, but they have such an amazing time when we do, and I'm really excited to show you how I actually improvised, because of course, Carson was not really digging it. This was definitely forced, um, but I needed his hands. And so I kind of impro improvised and the wind was definitely not working with me. It was working against me, which actually just made it more fun. Um, and this right here is why I make vlogs. This right here, like these shots, these moments, this crazy chaotic windy day. These are why I really like to make vlogs. So I've been making other types of content and videos on the channel, medicine I'm taking, diets, just different things, because I want to share Jesus in all the small moments. And if you've made it this far into the vlog, comment small moments below so I know you're still with me. Um, honestly, it's the small moments that matter. Um, and yeah, being able to look back on these vlogs, especially the ones even now, and see the memories that we made and the moments we shared together as a family when they were small, I know that these things are just going to be so precious even as they get older. Um, and the kids actually really enjoy going back on YouTube and watching videos of themselves, which is kind of fun too. So yes, we definitely used our shed door. And then later, I even actually think I used the gate when my teenager decides he's completely and totally over it. So there you go. Because the world's best mom award wasn't good enough in today's vlog, I decided I would also give myself the Susie Homemaker Award. Yes, that's right, I'm sewing. <laughs> that's definitely something that I don't do too often, but I'm super glad that I had a grandma that sewed um, and taught me the basics. Uh, we made a couple quilts together while she was still living and sadly she's no longer with us. Um, but every time I see a needle and thread or even so much as consider pulling one out to put on a button or try to put together a seam on a pair of slacks or something, I'm instantly reminded of the goodness of God and how he allowed her to be in our lives for the amount of time that he did. And so that's right, I'm over here totally killing it with the uh, 
Susie will make her award. And of course, in this moment, the kids really wanted to have the camera. So it was a constant battle of trying to let myself get this footage of the button. And again, the significance of it is nothing more really than just a sweet, nice reminder for myself of my grandma. And then I'm coming in strong with the housekeeping award. And yeah, we're just gonna speed this clip up because nobody really likes to clean anyways. I'm not sure who I'm kidding. <laughs> this totally cracked me up and I had to include this in today's vlog. We had our annual church chili cook-off and Abel sat down when Chris walked away and that's right, he totally stole his dessert. Chris came back to find an empty plate and a smiling sun. <laughs> and what is a vlog with not including more household chores as we get prepared to wrap up our night? It is... 8.53 p.m. Chris and Abel are asleep. Carson's at grandma's. We're watching Alvin and the Chipmunks and I'll show you what Genesis is doing. <laughs> 